Jeez, that is massive compared to him. The widely rumored giant stallion. Uh, Penny's Big Breakaway. That was a game that <laughs> they made it so very clear that it's made by the same guys that made Sonic Mania. And it's like a 3D platformer speedrun kind of game. Uh, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, the booster course pass wave five, which showed their new, <laughs> yeah, they showed their new track called Squeaky Clean Sprint. You know, in the bathroom. <laughs> I thought that's the funniest shit, like, I think that's like three Mario Kart tracks now where all the characters are so tiny and inside like a huge room. I know one of them is a uh, ribbon road. But I could have swore there was like a third one. And for their characters, they actually included three this time, which was Petey Piranha from Double Dash, Wiggler from Mario Kart 7, and, <clears throat> excuse me, Comic from Mario Kart Tour. Yeah, not Kamek. Comic from Mario Kart Tour. I thought that was so funny. Like, now we don't even know what the pronunciation is for Kamek. Uh, the remaster for Star Ocean, the second story R. It, it just has that Octopath Traveler graphics treatment. And... I think it was either Kony or someone. They said, like, they got to stop doing that kind of animation. Although it looks kind of gorgeous, but, like, maybe that just ruins the immersion that it had before in uh, Star Ocean. Uh, an oh, my God. Yeah, a new WarioWare game called WarioWare Move It. It actually plays out as an actual WarioWare game. I know Get It Together was, like, you... Like, how did Get Together play it out? You, had, you played, like, different kinds of characters through, like... Like, you played all different kinds of characters and you, their unique powers to complete micro-games with. You, you would clear a mini-game or a micro-game with different kinds of players' unique abilities. As for this one, it's just any other regular WarioWare game. Like, it actually plays out like WarioWare Smooth Moves. Which is actually one of my favorite WarioWare games. In fact, I think all the WarioWare games are, are good. I'm gonna go to this one. Uh, they show Nintendo Live 2023. It's gonna take place in Seattle. Uh, amiibo figures for Zelda and Ganondorf for Tears of the Kingdom. Obviously, I'm going to get the Ganondorf one. Going to add that to my collection. As for the last game of the Direct, showed a brand new Super Mario Brothers game for the Nintendo Switch called Super Mario Brothers Wonder. Now, it's not tech. The art style is so fucking adorable. It reminds me if it was Kirby and the Rainbow Curse mixed with new Super Mario Brothers, and it's not even a new Super Mario Brothers game. It is actually just called Super Mario Brothers Wonder. Has like a voice acting talking flower. Um, both Daisy and Yoshi are playable. Besides Mario, Luigi, Peach, Blue Toad, and Yellow Toad. New power-ups, like... <laughs> The fucking LSD flower. As well as uh, a freaking... I guess they would call it like a, like a devil fruit where it actually turns you into a fucking elephant. No, no joke, it actually... Uh, it actually makes you turn into a fucking elephant. Uh, I think I uh, did something wrong here, hang on. Yeah, it, it literally makes you turn into an elephant, and I'm pretty sure if there were other mushroom-like power-ups like that, you can turn into other kinds of animals. 
Uh, actually, I'll just build this one. Um, yeah. I'm pretty sure it won't just be an elephant. Maybe you can turn it to other kinds of animals. But I thought that was, like, just way out of nowhere. <laughs> he was saying, like, wowie zowie. Um... I think what Amanda pointed out is that the voice was a little bit off. Like, it didn't even sound like Charles Marnay, and even when it showed the WarioWare trailer, it didn't even sound like Wario, so... She was actually very concerned about, like, if Charles Martinet was going to continue being the voices for all the Mario characters. Actually, I need to wear the Yiga Clan outfit for this. Your Yiga Clan, right? All right, your Yiga Clan, huh? All right, come in. Oh, would you look at that? The Yiga Blade Master Station. This is supposed to be where a shrine is. This is the Yiga Blade Master Station. It is where Yiga Blade Masters are made and unmade. You're brave the elements to take this first step. That speaks well of your passion to become a Blade Master. But my exam is more rigorous still. Do you have... Do you have it within you to uh, to succeed? Will you try and give it your all? Uh, will I or will I? I think I will. Oh, wonderful. Well then. Listen closely to my words. The test is unforgiving. This is what you must do. In Gerudo Canyon, there are five frog statues with the identifying marks of the Yiga clan. I will reveal those locations. Wait a minute, how did you get a poor pad? <laughs> All you must do is travel to the five frogs and make an offering of mighty bananas to each one. Oh boy. This harsh land will lash you mercilessly with its cold and heat. Your travels may prove your ends, but if you succeed, I will name you a blade master. Furthermore, I will personally give you these mighty bananas. I have no more bananas to give for now. If you need more, a true Blade Master is expected to find their own. The Yiga Clan Exam. Oh boy. Now hopefully this will take us into the shrine. Oh my god, you have a picture of me on your back door. <laughs> oh, you little devil. Alright, this... uh. Yiga clan exam, huh? Do I hear a dragon? Oh yeah, there is. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it's Pharosh. So it looks like there's one right underneath me. Yeah, it's that one. So I just have to make banana offerings to these ones. God, I still love the... I still love the dragon music for this game. It's so ador... It's so gorgeous. You mean to tell me it's actually... Inside this cave. Oh my goodness. It is too. Mount Naburu Cave. There was one in here. Jesus. Didn't think you'd take your exam that hard. Alright, that's two. Uh that was a that was the most excruciating two. So now I have to find three more. You're joking. I had to make a peace offering right next to that stone talus. Good thing I didn't fall for it. 
All right, that's three. There was also a, a Gleok over there. It's a fire Gleok. Or flame Gleok. I'm just gonna... I didn't actually add that to my collection, didn't I? I actually didn't. I never added a flame Gleok to the compendium. Literally one inside this cave, the Gerudo Canyon Mine. I think there's like way too many caves in this game. Holy. Yeah. Yeah, I, I feel like there's like way too many caves in this game. Literally just astonished by how many there are. There one right here? Yeah, there is. Okay. Huh, good thing. All right. So that's number four. That just leaves the last one. Yeah, I see the last one. Yeah, this one was no problem. <laughs> no problem at all. All right, we're good. We got all five of the peace offerings. Now, to head back. I dropped my friggin' hovercraft again. Oh, brother. Whew, I'm here. I'm here. I'm finally here. Made the peace offering. I don't know why... You guys have, like, so much potassium to even stand up against me, where... You guys always fail. Oh. Finally, you have returned after making the necessary offerings. My intelligence sources have confirmed it. Oh. You passed the Blade Master exam. I have a reward for you for assuming the mantle of Blade Master. You are permitted to step into the inner sanctum. This reward is value and only found in the depths. You should know that if it is a great honor to receive one. Pay no heed to the strange glowing ruins you may find inside. We haven't yet decided what to do about them. <clears throat> What's important is your hard work in overcoming the Blade Master exam. All glory to Master Koga. Alright, thank you. Huh. Yeah, it's just a bunch of treasures in these rooms. There's a ruby. I do see a big-ass glowing shrine behind it. Eightfold long blade. That's actually pretty cool. I'm gonna take that. Uh, was there anything else in here? There's this small cave here. Oh shit! Never actually seen a bubble frog in this entire session, and we finally found one. Jesus. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to keep going to find one still. All right, so we found the shrine. And I'm pretty sure after going through the entire Nintendo Direct that happened in June, I do believe it is time to stop here. Even though I'm like one short of a shrine so that I can get another, another heart container, but uh, we'll save that for next time. But yeah. I'm actually pretty glad I made more progress than I thought I did. I'm like less than 10 shrines away from completing this quest. I'm like two light roots away. I'm just, at this point, I'm probably just gonna figure out what quest do I wanna do for the remainder of this LP. There is still finding the Master Sword and it's like flying around somewhere in Hyrule. There is the shrines over at the Thunderhead. Uh, let me remove this stamp. Yeah, there is the shrines in the Pharaon Sky. Oh, I almost forgot about the Sage's Wills. Oh my God. I'm gonna have to go through all that. Huh. 
Right, so I think we recognize this shrine. Back in Breath of the Wild, we had to use a snowball to roll it down that hill and smash a door. Now I'm wondering if it's the exact same thing as before. Oh no, it it actually looks like there's a doorway still. Uh, let me just use my hover car to get down there. Yeah, I feel like I'm just gonna take it easy for the rest of the night. Because I, I was trying to use that posture character, but for some reason it just like... I think it just bothered it a little bit more. Really? I just had to go in. Oh my god, I just... I just had to go in? And the shrine was at the end. Yeah, but I remember specifically the shrine, you had to use a snowball to roll it down the hill. So that you can smash the door to get to the shrine? Oh my god, really? We're doing this now? This is intermediate. This is an intermediate difficulty. I might as well just do it now. Alright, cool, cool. Now, I don't know if it actually did, like, a chain attack if I did that. But, here we are. I am gonna have to get rid of you. You doing the electric lightning bolt. Oh, boy, yeah. Alright, cool. I don't know if I need to do any of the... Electricity that's down here. Oh my god, yeah. Ugh. Yeah, that's a barrel. Ah, frick. I'm gonna have to be extra careful here. Uh, you have more power. All right. Nice, nice, okay. I'll just take that and, uh... <laughs> Let's make this one-shot count. I think he's up there somewhere. Nice! <laughs> one shot, one kill. Sometimes it's six shots, one kill. Oh, that last shot actually counted. Otherwise, I would have had to get up there and kill him myself. I still don't know why the... Those Zonai's specifically want to kill people, like... What did we ever do to them? Like... The Zonai were trying to build those things to help out with the humans. But there were some that, for some reason, just wanted to hurt people. There was literally this one in plain sight that I missed out on. Because of the freaking Sand Shroud. Across Gerudo Desert. Yup. Jesus. The Kura Hatak Shrine, but this 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 looks like it's uh looks like it's covered in something, and I'm not sure if it's gold. I'm I'm not even sure if it is gold. I don't think they even carry gold. Drifting Flame. So it looks like we're gonna have to use... a torch. Oh. Wait a minute. 
Did I need... Wait. What's going on here? Uh, do I need to... Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um... I don't think that's supposed to happen, but, uh... We're here now. I don't think that was supposed to happen. Drifting flame, uh... Oh, wait. Oh. Oh, I get it now. Okay. I had to bring this over to the button. And then... I drop it? It's not heavy enough. Yeah, it's not heavy enough. Or I just do that. Oh, okay. Just... <laughs> okay. That works. I just had to stand on it, I guess, and then light it up as I was there. Yeah, that... That felt a bit confusing, but, like, I was supposed to light it up at the entrance. But I used the ascends to go through it, and it took me to the top of the gate. Oh my god. The many wonders of over-exaggerating through puzzles. Where it takes me. Is this Hud's- Is this that guy's house? Or maybe he's just putting it in front of this guy's house. Gerudo Desert Lookout Post Logbook Recorded by Sudri The desert has been as calm as I have ever seen it for quite some time now. No raids, no monster attacks, no bandit incidents. I should be happy about that, but it's my job to keep an eye out and report any events that are out of the ordinary. And when nothing is happening, I have nothing to do. But no matter how quiet it gets, I can't leave my post. I know how important this task is, but that doesn't help me... Or that doesn't keep me from getting bored. I should be grateful for the peace. I've gotten the word that this lookout post is going to be shut down. I was worried that it was because I hadn't been doing my job, but it turns out that it was that wasn't the case at all. It's actually because they are building a lighthouse to help Kara Bazaar and Gerudo Town to communicate better. The task of watching for anything unusual will be, will be moved there, so there's no reason to maintain this lookout post. I hear the lighthouse will be gigantic so that it, it is visible in the worst sandstorms the desert has to offer. It's a bit exciting to imagine a beacon of, some, of hope shining over Kara Bazaar that we could look to in a disastrous storm. I can't wait to see the lighthouse in person. Today is my last day in the lookout post. I'm a bit sad saying goodbye to this place. But I've been asked to supervise the new training area being built at the Southern Oasis. I feel honored to be trusted with training over sol our soldiers. It's a direct way to help keep the desert safe. I've learned a lot from watching over the desert here. It's time I put it to use by teaching others what I know. I would have to remember if he was a really nice man. I'm pretty sure he was a nice man. Like he... Maybe he was the guy that gave me that outfit in uh, Breath of the Wilds to help me go into Gerudo Town. Maybe he was the guy. Oh, there's a Korok spot? Oh, man. 
Yeah, I have no intention to do that. As much as I wanted to show off a bit more, but, uh... I think it's getting to that point now where, like... <laughs> I've had enough Korok seeds to... Uh, fill my due time. So yeah, there's supposed to be a shrine around here. But I think it's supposed to be... In here. Underneath the quicksand. Now, I'm not sure, because I have been down here once, and I have absolutely no idea where it is. I mean, it could be up there, but, uh... I think it's more so going to where this is. Or maybe it could just be in another sinkhole. Maybe that's it. I think it's supposed to be in a different uh, sinkhole. Oh yeah, maybe it's in this one. Yeah, I never actually thought there was another sinkhole. Could be in this one. Ancient prison ruins. Damn, they had a prison down here? This is this has got to be where a shrine is. Let me just take like a look around. Oh no, are you serious? Oh, there's re-deads down here. Uh... Oh, they're waking up. Oh god, oh god, they're waking up. Hopefully they're not screaming at me. <laughs> Jesus, Murphy. Oh god, that's the wrong way. Oh, and there's even more down here. Wait a minute. Where the hell am I even going? <laughs> did did I summon Riju? Where the hell'd she go? I think uh She's not here with me. Lovely. Whoa. Oh, maybe I'm supposed to use like the ascend stuff. Uh, oh. Oh, I'm right back to where I started. Okay, okay. Right back to where I started. I guess if I go to this sand hill... Green Hill's looking a lot more like Sand Hill right now. Uh, nothing of the usual. Oh, there you are. Jesus. Can you, like, help me out here? Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I was supposed to come down here. Oh, are you serious? I was supposed to come down here, the, the part where it crumbled. I was, yeah, I was supposed to come down here. Because I can actually see the shrine from here. So, uh, okay. I'm pretty sure if I just crumble this, it's just gonna fall on me. Or no, I, I just take the stuff that's over there and just move it out of the way. 
do 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 just take that or that's just a, a switch oh it opens up the gates okay there we go I found it holy moly the Chi Chim shrine God, that was like a time. That was a prison and a half down there. Did have a bubble frog down there, so that's good. So that means I would have gotten like at least 35 to 40 bubble frog gems. I'm getting close, I think. I'm getting close to what uh, that guy needs. I'll get rid of this torch. But yeah, I'm getting close. Getting pretty close, and I have just now completed I, what I do believe is all the shrines in the Gerudo Desert. So you know, now with that uh, Thunderhead clouds in mind, I would want to go up there and explore. I'm pretty sure I want to. 146 shrines. I, that that is a sign now where it's like I'm almost there. Now I want to go then I want to go to that finish line. But I I do know that I need to go to bed for that. <laughs>